We're going to be talking about some training camp battles and very interesting ones that will be coming up from multiple positions and on offense, defense, special teams. All of that, I think there's going to be some some fun trends to see what is going to occur with the bottom of the roster and who potentially could be getting more of a starter role for their respected positions. But before we get into today's video, if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to Lions Nation Unite right now. Hit that red subscribe button. You know, it's easy to do so. It's free to do so. And if you're a Lions fan, you might as well get her done. Let's go. competition to make the 53-man roster this year is really difficult to compare to years past because the amount of talent on the Lions roster is exceptional and higher than we've seen in many, many years. So when you have something of that sort, you're going to have a really fun training camp battles with the people duking it out to make the 53-man roster and to get significant playing time. And this video, we're going to cover some of those positions and the importance of training camp and the importance of preseasons for some of these guys because they're going to be going at it really, really hard. Now, we'll just go ahead and start with the offense, and I think the running back position is going to be very intriguing. Jamar Jefferson, Mohamed Mohammed Ibrahim and Jason Cabinda slash fullback, what he is there, and and Craig Reynolds. But I think Craig Reynolds, feel, I feel like he has the spot. So we'll, we'll focus on these guys. Very intriguing who is going to win this battle and get playing time because when you look at Jamar Jefferson coming in year three, he didn't really do anything last year. You know, he's on the practice squad. You know, year one, he didn't really do anything either, even though he did make the roster. And then you get in a guy like Mohamed Ibrahim, who is an undrafted bowling ball rookie. And then you got Jason Gabendo, who the coaching staff loves. Can Jamar Jefferson win a little bit? Now, he did pretty good in OTAs in minicamp. That was what everyone was saying. He looks like he really understands that his job is on the line. But can he do enough to beat those guys out? You know, Jace Kippen, it may not be a situation where they got to fight against him because he could be placed at tight end or fullback. You know, whatever they want. You know, you know what it is for his type of position. But when it comes to Muhammad Ibrahim and Jamar Jefferson, one of these guys is not going to make it. Who do you think is going to win that battle? Personally, I got Muhammad Ibrahim making it over there because. He is a bowling ball undrafted rookie that can place part of that Jamar Jefferson. He can actually run out of the backfield and be a good complement to David Montgomery. So if David Montgomery gets injured, Mahabur and Ibrahim makes a lot of sense to be behind him because he's more that physical guy and the get the couple yards guy, unlike a Jameer Gibbs, who's more of a player that's going to be you know, wide receiver, and speed guy in the run game. So that's going to be an interesting battle to see who has that one there. I think the tight end battle is very intriguing because you got four guys that should, all four guys could make the roster. They're that good. You got, obviously, you're going to have Sam Laporta. He's making the roster. James Mitchell, who they draft, is making the roster. we got Brock Wright and Shane Zilstra. These two are going to be battling it out to make the 53-man roster. And Brock Wright has shown, hell, last year he did the game winner, the New York Jets, that, that made us win that game. But Shane Zilstra has shown a lot, too, his time as a Detroit Lion. And he's made some plays last year, and he made some plays in OTAs and minicamp. Same with Brock Wright. So how they battle this one out is going to be very Interesting. I think, personally, Brock Wright has the edge, but you just don't know when it comes to training camp and what's going to happen there. So that one really intrigues me of, of what one of those guys makes the roster over the other. The wide receiver battle. Antoine Green is fighting it hardcore there. You know, Jameson Williams suspended the first six weeks. Tom Kennedy... Now, who's going to come in here? Can Tom Kennedy do it again? I don't think he makes the roster. I'm just being straight up with you. I think Antoine Green makes the roster. Makes a lot of sense to him being number six guy. But it's going to be fun to watch these guys battle it out. 
and who is the preview leader on number one, number two, number three, all of that. Personally, I like Khalif Raymond to get in there to be that number three because he has done exceptional with the time he's been with the Detroit Lions. Just all he does is make plays, even though he's not the biggest guy in the world. But how they lay out these wide receivers will be interesting. On the defensive line, got a ton of defenders out there battling. Just an absolute ton. And I think this goes with rotation as well. You got Isaiah Bugs, You got John Kaminsky in there. You got Joshua Pascal. You know, who's going to get the more more of the snaps, you know, with their rotation. But edge rushers, Charles Harris, Aiden Hutchinson, Romeo Aquara, Julian Aquara, can he actually make the roster? Going to be difficult. Going to be difficult. Could the Lions add a player like a Chase Young into the fold? Right now they're the number one betting odds to get Chase Young. So that'll be intriguing, but these battles is going to be amazing. And Charles Harris has done really good so far. OTAs in minicamp. <sighs> Who is going to get it? Who's going to get the opposite of Aiden Hutchinson's significant time? Will that be Romeo over Charles Harris? Will it be Charles Harris over Romeo? They're both going to get playing time. They're both going to make the team. But who's going to get the most significant playing time? Who's going to be the starter for these battles? Who's going to get the edge over the other? That's going to be damn fun to watch. And again, training camp is going to be fun. Make sure you guys are there. I'll be there as well, representing Lions Nation Unite, talking about you know what's going on and, and having a good time over there. So make sure you check that out. Linebacker is going to be fun, real fun, because we just assumed Malcolm Rodriguez was going to get that you know, we know Jack Campbell and Alex Anzalone is going to be in the guys, but who's going to be the other guy? We just assume Malcolm Rodriguez, but he's been injured. And Derek Barnes has blown up in OTA's minicamp. He showed out. He impressed Dan Campbell. He's impressed Aaron Glenn. So Malcolm Rodriguez versus Derek Barnes is going to be real fun to watch. Real fun to watch. And we want Derek Barnes to step up. When, you dra when we drafted him... A lot of fans, myself included, expect he would take a, you know, a starting role at some point, but it didn't happen last year. And we this is where we're at right now. So if he can come in there and show his speed and his flash and really hone in his game, maybe he can get more of the playing time over Malcolm Rodriguez. We all love Malcolm Rodriguez, the fan favorite. Got no hate for the guy. But we want the best for this football team. We want the best roster and depth chart. And so having those two battle it out is going to be outstanding. The secondary position is going to be glorious. Absolutely glorious. I think this could spell the end of Will Harris because he has not performed well in OTAs and minicamp. And you've got so many new faces in the secondary, and it's been nothing but explosive in OTAs and minicamp. you got C.J. Gardner-Johnson riling everybody up. Everybody's getting vocal, showing the swag. Cameron Sutton, been sound on the outside. Whoever he's guarding, he's been really good. Emmanuel Mosley looks like he could be ready for training camp. He was showing a lot of, of fight and fury. In minicamp, Jerry Jacobs, Jerry Jacobs, baller like he always is. Then you got the undrafted rookie battling out with Will Harris. And undrafted, doing well. Could this spell the end of Will Harris in Detroit? And you got Melifonwu. Could this spell the end of Will Harris in Detroit? I think it's possible. I think it happens. But they got to battle it out first. So those three players are going to be fighting like crazy. And I got to say, want the best 53? Let's go undrafted. We'll see. Then you got the safety position, which is slash cornerback because C.J. Gardner-Johnson plays the nickel. And same when it comes to some other players. I mean, that's just, that, that's just how our rotation works in the back end. You got Tracy Walker 
who's coming back from an injury. He's going to have some interesting battles because we just assumed it would be him, right? But you got C.J. Garden-Johnson, you got Kirby Joseph, Brian Branch, who we drafted and showed really well. I can't wait to see how Brian Branch does in training camp because he can play nickel as well. He can play linebacker. Hell, that's where they had him at. Safety, how they use him, who's on the outside in, who's going to get majority of the starting reps. It's got You think it's got to be Kirby Joseph and Tracy Walker, and then there Brian Branch is all over the field, and C.J. Gardner-Johnson is the same with him all over the field, always on the field during you know their time on defense. But you don't really know. Don't really know. So that's going to be fun, and it's been fun in OTA's minicamp to read about. Unfortunately, we I can't be there, but you know, training camp you can and see it for your own self. The kicker battle, we got three kickers going at it. Riley Patterson, Romo, and we got Badgley. Who's going to get the kicker position? We just assumed one week it was Romo, the next week it was Patterson, then Michael Badgley. Those three are going to battle it out to see who's going to be the kicker for the Detroit Lions. Now, I couldn't tell you which one's going to win it. Don't really know. Maybe Patterson has an edge. Don't know. Michael Badgley's been more consistent, even though he doesn't have the biggest leg like a Romo. But you just don't know, Mo. We just don't know right now. But let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite battles for training camp? I'm really curious to see what you guys think on this one. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest news rumors regarding our Detroit Lions.